Welcome everyone to another episode of Get Tech Smart Global Explosion, a six week mini series that I'm doing for the LinkedIn Accelerator Program Technology and Innovation. I am your host, Flo Nicholas, tech startup founder and host of a local TV show, Get Tech Smart. So today I'm really excited. So I'm going around the world featuring top tech experts that are just slaying it globally in the tech sector. So today I'm really happy to have actually one of my friends, uh, James McKean, who is the president of the NAACP in Manchester, New Hampshire. He is a techie digital transformation expert, well sought after speaker and author. Today we're going to talk something a little serious about tech, right, James? That's right. We will indeed. Yeah. So tech is great, right? We we are all about innovation, especially artificial intelligence. But there are some growing concerns uh, with potential bias in tech. So can you explain that a little bit more for us? Sure. So, you know, we think of technology as this um, neutral objective thing because we don't develop it and we think it's something we buy like a product and it's, it's hardware and it's software and we think well the people who are building it um, you know they build it in a very objective way because this is technology well as it turns out technology is built by guess who humans and we all we know that all humans are biased and that those biases creep into the technology that they are building that we end up consuming. So that's why bias is really important to think about here because it's built into our technology. It's built into how we use technology as well. So that that's the, the really the, the, the crux of why this is so yeah. important to talk about. Yeah. And, you know, I've been seeing a lot of that, especially with AI. Um, you know, some of this issue is a global issue, mm -hmm. but you're tackling this locally. And you are actually running an initiative where you are looking for commitment from tech companies, uh, one, for them to recognize and, and be aware of this potential bias. So can we talk a little bit more about the training that you have put together right here in New Hampshire? Sure. And, and it's actually going to be global. We're starting kind of here in New Hampshire, but it's going to be virtually done. So anyone from around the world is going to be able to take advantage of it. That's fantastic. And so we're starting with a, a workshop that we're calling Bias in Technology. And it's an overview that helps people understand a little bit more about what I just said about why it's important and how bias shows up. And a quick example of the how bias shows up is think about any form that you filled in, uh, maybe online or even offline. Some of this has offline implications as well, but. Think of those online forms that you fill in for an application or uh, buying a product. Those forms probably have a title field, a first name field, and a last name field in them because they want your name, right? right? So think about that title field. Sometimes folks will put in, the, the companies who create the form will give you a drop down, And that drop down will have a Mr., a Mrs., and maybe a doctor. Well, what about those who want to use the MX title? They're not able to even fill that in. So right off the bat, they're excluded, right? So you move to the first name, last name. Well, in the United States and in European world and culture, there is a first name and a last name that makes sense. But what about those cultures where they don't have first name or last name? What about those cultures where they may have one name or they may have a family name followed by a given name. Right? So if you have a first name and last name field labeled that way, those people are automatically discriminated against. So those are just three simple fields that we talk about that developers develop and we users consume that bias is baked in right there. Yeah. So the, the first workshop is just from the, just recognizing what when the bias kicks in. The next two workshops are going to be uh, one from a user's perspective. How do you um, eliminate bias in selecting technology and in the use of that technology and the configuration of that technology? 
And then the third workshop is gonna be for the developers themselves. What are the techniques, the tools you can use to make sure that your bias doesn't creep into the technology that you're developing? Yeah, and 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 when you're saying the technology, you're you're looking at this uh, across all sectors. Not you're not just a specific area in the tech sector. That that's correct. Any any technology, and, and I'm talking hardware and software because hardware is a technology, and hardware has biases baked into it as well. Yeah, and, and I, I'm happy that this is something that is not just uh, local. So I'm happy you corrected me on that. This you're trying to you're trying to make this global. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And so do you think that is there some type of a commitment that uh, you're looking for from from companies uh, in regards to this? Or is is the the commitment itself coming to the training and actually going through the training and then not just stopping there, but implementing it uh, on a daily yeah. basis? So we, we've got um, a tiered level of uh, maturity, if you want to call it that that we have for the program. We're starting off with just getting education on getting a commit, committing to being educated as to what bias is, how it impacts technology. Uh, the next level is making a commitment to eliminate bias from your technology, either your use of it or your development of it. Uh, the next level up though, is to help sponsor others to eliminate bias in the technology. You know, we technologists, as we build things, we're part of a supply chain. Right. We use other technology. We integrate our technology with other technologies. So we need to be advocates for eliminating bias. And that's the next level, being an advocate for limit, eliminating bias in all technology. And we've got an ultimate level for your own technology, which is a certification program. Oh, nice. Where we'll actually look at your your technology and certify that it is uh, it, it's um, it's eliminated or minimized the impact of bias. Yeah, I love this initiative. I think it's great. I, I think we definitely need to make sure we have a hashtag eliminate bias trending globally because this this is a global initiative and this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and where I see this really, you know, catching on fire <laughs> is it's probably in the AI sector because there's a lot going on already with various articles from researchers talking about the uh, biases and uh, potential discriminations with with AI. So you yeah. are a leader. You're, you're, you're a trailblazer. And, and I love this. Is there what are the dates when this is started? Uh, we're just settling the, the dates for the three first three workshops uh, now, but uh, we actually are willing to deliver these workshops in house okay. as we know that uh, developers uh, are in groups. You know, most many organizations have a group of developers and the group of developers needs to go through this training. That's good. And it, there's a website where people can uh, contact you to sign up. There is a, a website that uh, people can uh, log on to and um, see a bit more about the details of the program. And uh, there's a join us button at the bottom of the page. And uh, we want you to, to reach out to us and join us. And uh, we'll help you with whatever level that you want to, uh, that you think you are and you want to get to. And we'll take it from there. All right, perfect. And I'll make sure to have that link up there. So uh, anyone who wants to get more information on hashtag eliminate bias, which is a global movement, uh, and I think it's going to catch fire. So you, you want to join on that now. So James, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you know, this is such an important initiative. And of course, uh, you are the person starting it here. Uh, so I'm not surprised at all. So thank you again for stopping by. Well, thank you, Flo. Always great to chat with you. Thank you. And for everyone else, stay tuned for another episode of Get Tech Smart Global Explosion coming soon. Mm -hmm.